well, most of the money that we will raise through this uh, grant uh, will go to build the, the community and also start our platform. Um, and uh, regarding my history with AOS, uh, I was one of the first actually to um, buy EOS points before um, actually it, it went public. Uh, and uh, I also um, went to Washington DC uh, conference in 2018, um, where I met uh, uh, most of the managers in there and, uh, and leaders of EOS. Uh, and uh, I developed myself solution um, using EOS. Uh, uh, a long time ago, before even the the, the start of the of Web three, and uh, uh, I'm I'm actually very excited to uh, be with AOS uh, community again, uh, and this time with a very uh, uh, with a big mission of uh, promoting financial um, uh, fi financial inclusion through financial literacy and uh, and advisory. So our uh, so our, our grant name is Cotis Finance. Uh, you can find us in Telegram. We have uh, over 3,000 uh, members already in Telegram. We are also present in Medium and, and, and LinkedIn. Uh, and uh, you, you can also check, check us out on, on Pamilo today. Uh, and the name of the, the, the our grant is Cotis Finance. And thank you. Thanks to you, Matt. That was awesome. Um, anybody in the in the on the stage has some questions for Matt? I'll give you a few seconds. I, I really want to welcome you as a new come on, come on Pomelo, and I'm excited that you have been in the EOS community for so long, and now I'll start applying on Pomelo. This is awesome. Thanks. If there are no questions from the audience, you have still a few seconds left for your time. Uh, can you break down quickly how you are leveraging with your platform the EOS blockchain? Yeah, so uh, um, we got uh, a lot of feedback uh, when interview. We, we did the interviews actually of people from different, uh, um, you know, in, in, from different income, uh, and uh, we saw that the low um, and, and mid income families are underserved and underserved in term of financial advisory. And that's where, why we, um, we uh, actually started Cotis Finance and uh, uh, using the, the Web3 um, uh, solutions, we started to build a platform where, where users will have uh, for control on their data uh, and uh, they can actually um, uh, learn, um, learn financial advisory in safe area where the, they are protected from hackers um, because hackers, they cannot get uh, in, in directly in touch with these people or steal their, their data. So that's the, the goal. So okay. it, and building, building trust is very important when given uh, financial literacy because it's, uh, it's very difficult actually to protect users while um, um, are uh, subject to attacks from, from hackers. Sounds good. Exciting, exciting. Uh, I love yeah. it that it's kind of, Starting where a lot of blockchain started, unbank, no, bank the unbanked, and now giving financial advisory in a safe environment. I think that's next level. Love it. Uh, wish you all the best uh, for Pomelo Season 6. Thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, if anybody has uh, questions or wants to click directly on the link up in the space, then you will find more information about uh, Cody's Finance. The grant is very well written, a lot of details there, exciting stuff. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next uh, picture here for today, uh, I think we have Alfredo uh, joining us today. He's a CTO of Hoken Tech, and uh, he brings an EVM NFT marketplace. That's exciting. I want to see a marketplace on EOS EVM. I see NFTs on EOS EVM, but no marketplace to trade them. It's about time, Alfredo. Please. Yes, and... Uh... Thanks, uh, everyone. And uh, because uh, Hoken Tech uh, uh, has a view that uh, before they build something, we already built the, this uh, NFT marketplace. 
uh, and it is already on the EOS AVM testnet, so you can uh, already uh, create and mint your exclusive uh, NFTs. And uh, almost uh, there is 70% uh, done of the uh, environment, and uh, you can uh, see all of the the different uh, layout that we made because uh, we choose a simple layout because uh, it's a, a simple marketplace at, at this stage. But uh, in the future, we want to add more future because uh, uh, one of the problem with the NFT marketplace are uh, the storage of the NFTs. And uh, because uh, now there isn't so much uh, uh, things that fit well with EOS AVM, for example, uh, most of the marketplace was uh, third parties like Archemy or other uh, uh, third party that at the moment uh, don't offer support for EOS EVM. And in this case, uh, there is a limit of the NFT that can be uploaded at this stage of the marketplace. Because, uh, frankly, if we want to onboard people uh, on the EOS EVM, we need to create uh, um, something useful. And in this case, NFTs can be really an uh, onboarding uh, system for uh, a lot of users. And we see also with Blur that uh, in uh, a couple of days, uh, uh, bring, brought up uh, a lot of uh, people, but also money, because uh, NFTs, uh, if you like or not, uh, brings money because they worth something. And because Token Tech has chose uh, to develop on the EOS blockchain, uh, and uh, on the NFT uh, sector, we naturally uh, create an NFT marketplace on the EOS EVM. And in the, as I said, it's already built on the EOS EVM uh, testnet. Uh, the funds will be used to uh, fix the, the problem that we don't need, that we don't have um, third party support, so we need to build everything from scratch. And even though we don't uh, um, finish all the, the marketplace, we uh, public all the code, so whoever can continue is from uh, where we, uh, we started. So if uh, someone wants to uh, integrate another feature, he can uh, already use what uh, we have already built. This is the, all the, the, the project that we, uh, one of the grants that we uh, propose that is already uh, done, built, uh, and uh, we don't, uh, you don't have to trust our words, but trust what we already built. I love it. I love it. You already did the work and asking for the funds afterwards. That's like a superstar for me. Absolutely great. <laughs> Um, anybody in the audience or on stage has some questions for Alfredo before I touch in? There's uh, still one and a half minutes left uh, for asking more about the EOS EVM NFT marketplace. First thing is, is there a name for it or is EOS EVM marketplace the name for it? Uh, at the moment, we don't have a, a, a name because it's difficult to come up with a name because the idea is to uh, get the code made the public and made another uh, uh, closed uh, version for us that will be brand, uh, branded as a token tech market. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, second questions would be, so it's already on the testnet. Um, are you already making it available for other people to test it? Are you in touch with some of the NFT creators that decided to launch uh, EOS EVM based NFTs like the EOS Toads or the EOS Punks? Or do you have uh, anything? Not yet, uh, but uh, the, the marketplace is open to all. And uh, the, the good thing is that there is only one fee, that is uh, 0.1 EOS, to create, to mint your NFTs. This is the, there, is an, uh, there aren't uh, any other fee to create NFT. Just uh, one point uh, EOS, and then you're ready with your uh, NFT. That sounds nice. These are low fees. Point one. Yeah, That's... because we want to bring people and uh, uh, attracting people uh, with low fee is a, a good strategy in our opinion. Absolutely, absolutely. 100% agree. Um, okay, last quick question. Is there a launch date maybe? 
Uh, it's difficult, but uh, at this stage, uh, uh, it's uh, quite uh, possible that it's after uh, summer. Okay, exciting, exciting. So if you like NFTs on the EOS EVM, make sure to send some donations to the Hokentech EOS EVM NFT marketplace. Yes, at the moment we have uh, just uh, four uh, contributors of our project. So it's a little, uh, and we hope we can attract more people. Just one uh, EOS is enough for us. It's early, it's early. I'm sure you will get more donations. I will put every grant that pitches here on the uh, pitch sessions uh, Pomelo collection. That's uh, yet another way uh, in, in another incentive to actually start, come up on stage and pitch here. Anyway, thank you, Alfredo, for all the work that you're doing. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, but we're moving on now. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks to you. Uh, next up, we have another superstar, Charles Bishop, coming live on stage right here. And he's pitching two grants. He's pitching... EOS Synergy and EOS Support. Do you want to have five minutes for both of them or do I give you a full 10 minutes and we go one after another? Well, hello everyone. I can have uh, two, uh, 10 minutes for both. It's fine. I can do both. Nice. Sure. nice. Then let's, let's start with uh, EOS Synergy. I'm excited for this one. And then we see if there are any questions, if we can have a conversation about this and then next up will be EOS Support. Sounds good? Perfect. Okay. Three, let's go. two, one. Let's go. So everyone, so EOS Synergy is sponsored by your support. It is a community of influencers that is dedicated to promoting the EOS network across different languages and cultures. So imagine a DAO of influencers that educates, informs, and onboards new users all around the world. That's EOS Synergy. And it has come a long way since the last Pomelo season. I'm going to cover all that. So we are here once again at Pomelo to raise funds for the content creators and influencers that joined EOS Synergy as a DAO. So the goal is to promote EOS worldwide and all its content. So newcomers are entering the blockchain every day and the Web3. The goal is to have mindful guidance from educated influencers, have a place for them to gather and having them ready to take on everything that your support has regarding the resources, the tutorials, the scam prevention, the education, and I relay all that to the users wherever they are in the world through different shows in different languages. So the EOS Synergy community, well, creates an environment where EOS influencers and users can have a healthy discussion and provide collaboration and synergies also between the projects and the community. The goal is also to give away EOS, NFTs, have a fun place where everyone can gather in their own language and speak about EOS. It's a new way to bring energy and vibes, as the name says, into the global EOS community and all their projects. So by donating to our grant today, you are supporting the education and the onboarding of new users into the Web3 on EOS. And more than anything, you add visibility to existing and emerging EOS projects that will benefit from attending these events. And well, speaking of shows, we've had quite a few that joined EOS Synergy since the last Pomelo season. So of course we have, for more than a year now, I've hosted the giveaway show for the worldwide English speakers. Uh, live right now on your support Twitch channel where I'm streaming all of your grants. That's my pleasure. After that, we've had EOS Pulse hosted by Haza for the African communities. And uh, newly joined is EOS Exploration Journey, which is hosted by Shuang on Tencent for the Chinese speakers worldwide. And now the latest to join was EOS Mexico, so hosted by Andres Palmar, this time for the Spanish speakers worldwide. So slowly but surely, we are having different shows in the EOS Synergy community uh, that are educated influencers ready to help their own communities in their own language. And the newest one, which we'll join probably, is uh, EOS Russia. So hoping to have that one onboarded real soon as well. And we have also monthly reports on the EOS support website with all the statistics on how the shows are performing and growing slowly but surely. So that's available on the EOS support.io website for everyone to check out. That's all for EOS Synergy, and thank you for your attention. Awesome. Thank you for your pitch. pitch. <laughs> it's multi-language, <laughs> multi-platform, and it's growing. I really like where this is, where this is going. Uh, more and more people um, and, and language groups 
join join your synergy and i think that's in the name already the synergy of it all i like it because you can also build materials together and that brings me to the first question like all of the materials that you are probably having for one show are you having are you sharing like a knowledge base i know your support is doing great welcome welcoming newcomers and answering questions but for all these shows are, are you sharing basically playbooks for how to host more events Oh, definitely. So I've been doing that since the first show, Your Sports for Hazan, the African community. The goal with having a single community of DAO for influencers, your synergy, is to have collaboration and having the capacity for helping others. So since the very first show, Your Sports, I uh, helped him well set up his stream. I was the first one to launch a show uh, on YouTube for my own giveaway show in the community. So I helped him discover OBS, everything he needed to uh, launch the show on his own platform. And after that, well, all the thumbnails, all the content creation that I do also, I share with them. So that's the goal also with having your synergy. It's a place where influencers can help each other and collaborate with the same goal to share everything we are accomplishing for the Web3 of tomorrow here on Neos, but for everyone in their own language, in their own communities worldwide. And that's what's needed, of course. Love it. And shout out to your synergy uh, once more, because I think you are responsible for the massive increase of pop tokens being distributed. With all these shows, more and more pop tokens get in circulation, which resulted in a new record of raffle tickets yesterday. I think we had 128, which is almost doubling the amount of raffle tickets. And it means you only get a pop token, which you can convert into a raffle ticket when you participate in one of these shows. That means we double participation in the shows, and that's awesome. So love it. Well, thanks to the foundation for giving away these pep tokens. It helps a lot, yes. All right. So next uh, grant that you're pitching is uh, an, an all-star, I would say, your support. Um, tell us all about it. Sure. So I myself, Charles Bishop, as the head of communication for your support, is again pleased well to showcase our grant for your support this season on Pomelo. So as always, uh, well, his support has been working hard to provide quality content to help the EOS network and its users, as always. So as the next network's concierge, as we were delegated, it is vital to allocate some of our resources. We decided to educate builders about the EOS EVM. That's a major uh, accomplishment in the EOS network, and the EOS EVM needs our strength and your support to support it as much as well as we can. So a successful promotion of the EOS EVM is a success for all of EOS. And the EOS network has done a great job building and deploying the most performant EVM in the crypto space thus far. So with this Pomelo season, we are in the EOS EVM pool and we are aiming to provide 24-7 human support as always in different languages and all of that for the EOS EVM promotion and education. So we have already dedicated ourselves for weeks to delivering high quality news content to assist the EOS EVM or the news or the updates about it, but also for the EOS community as always. So again, as the designated concierge chosen by the community, our not-profit organization is here crafting guides, educational uh, articles and the apps overview for the EOS EVM this time. So while there has been a delay in our official blockchain platform deployment, we are building a new website for your support. Our goal still remains to deploy an interactive support platform for all the users of EOS and also for the EOS EVM users as well. So that entails having a platform for the roadmap, the app collections, everyone having their own account on the EOS support website and even more. So we are happy to unveil that in coming weeks. So our achievements in supporting the EOS EVM ecosystem include now addressing 53 tickets about uh, the EOS EVM. We have 28 inquiries, we have 25 problem reports. So starting now and for weeks now, we have been helping users discover the EOS EVM and onboard it. So we encourage you all to also go to the EOS support monthly reports that we have on our website that cover everything that we do, every ticket is on there. Everything is transparent for the community to discover how we actually, well, help our users on board the EOS network, but also now the EOS EVM. So, and we also have, as always, our news center where we have committed to sharing updates and developments about the EOS EVM ecosystem. 
Uh, it has uh, valuable resources for users to stay informed about the latest news from the EU CVM, EU native, EU support. Pomelo actually also grants with the EU audit. And all of these were always in nine different languages. The goal is not for the, only the English speakers to benefit from this. Everything that we're doing for the centralized Web3 of tomorrow has to be shared with the whole world. So, as always, all our articles on our new center are translated, as always, in nine different languages. So, while our commitment to delivering news articles and aiding the EOCVM and uh, EOS users, uh, so we are aspirations, well, as always, far beyond. Besides our ambassador's program, use Respect, we have also projects that we launched, such as use Audit, use Learn and Earn, use Synergy, like I talked. But the goal is to have this independent community decentralized. So having created those is a great effort and great accomplishment on our end, but we are still seeking to do even more and seeking new ways to support the US community. So us, your support, alongside all the stakeholders of the US network, we are actively working to rally the US community and propel it to, for, towards what it can achieve, and that is a lot. So we we'll sincerely appreciate all of your support so far during the past Pomelo seasons, and we are here today well, to show you that we are still uh, wanting to do more, even more for the US community. We love it so much, and we are also very, very grateful for all your support thus far. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a party hat. I don't know why this thing sound came out, but yeah, I wanted to give you a round of applause and uh, kudos to to the great uh, work that the whole your support team is doing, and also to you, Bishop, to Charles Bishop, to do like a great pitch once again. Um, I have one question for the EOS support EOS EVM team. I really like it that you, that you guys are going where most support needed is needed because we have a lot of new people coming in through the influx of EOS EVM. Uh, I have a question about, uh, let's say, like, is there any feedback loop? Let's say, what is the most asked question um, from new users coming in? Where, where are the pain points in the onboarding? And is there a feedback loop or some kind of channel where, where let's say the, the ENF or the Pomelo team or whoever can see what are what are the pain points where we need to improve? Are there surveys, any of these things already happening or do you plan to do these? Oh, it's already been happening for since the launch of your support actually. So every time we do a monthly report covering everything that we do, of course, we have a unique insight into where the pain points and where the bottlenecks are for onboarding new users. So. Uh, from the very start of EOS support in each of our reports, monthly ones, we have the recommendations we have for the EOS community and the EOS Network Foundation. So all the problems the users have regarding problems uh, with the power-up system, how to use resources, how to create an account on the EOS CVM, if they can use MetaMask or something else. We get all that together and we analyze it and we give our recommendations each month in our monthly reports. So that's for all the developers, all the project owners, so they have better insight into what the bottlenecks are currently in the US network for onboarding new users. So that's already been available since the start of your support, always in our monthly reports. And do you already have some data that you can share right here? What are the most asked question about EOS EVM? Uh, I would have to check the okay. monthly report last one, but yeah, but, um, no, I have to check. I, I will check it for <laughs> you. Thank you. Sorry for putting you on the spot right there. So, yeah. That's all right. Thanks again. Um, and uh, My pleasure. Also, quick question. Are are the, the giveaway show is happening right after this show? Is it still scheduled like this? Oh, it is happening right now. Oh. So, uh, I'm being straight. Grants, okay. so all the grants are been going for now. I've been showcasing their grant on screen. And I'm okay. showcasing Shout out to everybody watching us on Twitch, um, the your support Twitch channel. Happy to to you know be also your host together with Bishop today. So that's synergy for you. <laughs> that's absolutely <laughs> awesome. Cool. Um, we have one more grant coming up on stage and pitching for us. Uh, Sashid, are you there with us? Uh, hey, Martin. Yes, I'm uh, here. I can go now. <laughs> awesome. This is great. So a quick intro. Um, Sashid is bringing us to... He's the only one today. 
applying for the EOS GameFi pool, a pool that I'm also very excited about. I love playing games on EOS. Um, and he brings B Spangle. He's a solo developer. And uh, yeah, B Spangle is his grant. I'm excited to learn more about it. So uh -huh. your time is running, starting now. Let's go. Uh, thank you. Uh, so I am Sachit. Uh, I was a CTO at a gaming company, Purple Seed. Our vision was to build Steam of Web3. And uh, along with that, I'm also an active member of Eden on EOS community. So, you know, being part of these two, you know, different things uh, made me realize the potential of uh, SBTs or like, you know, uh, known as uh, soul bound tokens. Uh, what I learned was that, you know, SBTs is a, is a very nice way to mark uh, value generating blockchain transactions. So, uh, you know, uh, what I mean by value generating, if somebody, uh, if, let's say, you know, take example of a game, if somebody does uh, uh, like, you know, double kill in a game, like, you know, generate, uh, like, you know, it's a value generation for the, for the gamer that they have, you know, done this achievement and issue an SBT, uh, SBT to them. Um, you know, if all, all such value generating transactions are stored uh, uh, as SBTs, it's, uh, it's uh, kind of very helpful for both the community and the contributor, like uh, the person who has, uh, you know, done, uh, uh, done this uh, or like, you know, who has achieved, uh, uh, you know, certain thing. Um, you know, community can kind of see that, you know, who is a, like, you know, good gamer, like uh, who is a good strategy gamer and things like that, like, you know, more of at a reputation level. And for the contributor, uh, it opens up uh, new new ways to uh, receive uh, a reward. So currently, like, you know, the current, current uh, how currently how blockchain rewards are kind of given are, you know, just some fungible tokens are given. And then after that, like all is forgotten that, you know, if somebody had done something in the past, so, you know, giving all these, um, uh, giving uh, SBTs instead of directly giving rewards kind of keeps the history of a gamer. A gamer can go from one game to another, showing that, you know, he had, uh, uh, he has uh, achieved, uh, like, you know, a lot in previous games and things like that. So, uh, so that's that's all generally about like you know SBTs. Uh, I mean that was sort of my learning uh, while working at uh, Purple Seed and in Eden on EOS uh, community. Um, so B Spangle is like a uh, so B Spangle is a project uh, which allows for easy distribution of these SBTs. Um, you know uh, if somebody is like developing a project on EOS, whether it's GameFi or like you know any other project, and they can directly just call it using an inline action without having to do any other code changes. So uh, to, you know, to take example of, let's say, one of the, uh, you know, previous participant, uh, Charles, talk, talking about uh, EOS support. So in EOS support, somebody is doing good for the community. You know, you want to issue an SBT to them, um, you know, just have an inline action where, you know, that uh, um, uh, inline, inline action call to be Spangle where, uh, you know, some some value contributing thing was done for EOS support community. So, so basically, it's an easy way to do uh, like issue these SBTs, and you know, once these SBTs are issued, more complicated things can be uh, built on uh, you know top of these uh, issuance. Yes, uh, that's uh, all that I had. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Sakit, sorry for butchering your name before. Like I said, Sashid. Sakit, I will Sachin. never do this again. <laughs> no, it, it's Sachin. It's Sachin. Uh, <laughs> okay. um, I am excited for Soulbound Tokens. Um, for everybody who doesn't know, um, Soulbound Tokens are non transferable. So they are NFTs. You can see them like a badge, but they're not transferable. So you can't trade them. They are really important for reputation systems. So because you can't buy them or transfer them, they kind of stuck with you. And basically they, they create your reputation or your, you know, in other words, soul in a network. 
And they are also like, you know, similar like uh, quadratic funding, soul bound tokens uh, are, I'm not sure if they're, the concept was invented, but um, Vitalik Buterin also a big fan of soul bound tokens. There are a lot of discussions about these things. So yeah, yeah. loving it. Yeah, I think around the same time. So I think, so, uh, you know, uh, in, on Eden on EOS, we started working on Soulbound token roughly at the same time when Vitalik's paper came out. So uh, it's uh, so yeah, I, I think he he put out the paper. We were just working on it. So uh, awesome, top of the curve, bleeding edge technology coming to EOS GameFi. I love it. Super exciting stuff. Anybody else has any questions for Sakit? We have a bit of time left. I don't hear anyone. Um, that's great. Um, we're on time. Um, so please check out all these grants. I think we had uh, a really amazing first session here today. Uh, thanks for all hello. the speakers. Hello, hello. Hi, I'm speaking. Martin. Yeah, this is Daniel, EOS India. Hey, welcome on stage. You got a question. Yeah, actually, I, I applied for the pitch through the medium, but I was not successful. That's why I asked Jana if I can uh, do my pitch here. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, if you applied through uh, the the form, you will. I will get in touch with you for sure, and I will book you for next week. Uh, that's fine. Um, so if you are successful. It's just like we need to schedule these sessions. So we're staying under 60 minutes. We have six minutes left. If you want to use this chance right now and do a quick pitch, that's absolutely fine with me. Um, but I will still give you an invitation for next week. So that's up to you for you. Uh, right I am now. okay with five minutes. I am okay with five minutes if, if, if you can allow it. Yeah, yeah. I allow it. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, so. Um, this is the this is my the second term uh, for this Pamelo pitch. Uh, I was uh, approved. My my grant was approved in the last season. So at that time, I started uh, this uh, the, the the grant that was to spread the news in Hindi in the northern part of India. So uh, this is apart from uh, any any. Other, uh, I mean, uh, the, the the matching pools like EOS CBM or EOS Game Five, because we, uh, I am working on like an influencer, uh, influence the people who are the Hindi speaking people in the northern part. Because when I talk to my friends, they don't know about the blockchain. So if they don't know the blockchain, how can they know about the EOS? So I was talking to with my friends and I was telling them about the, about the the. Uh, the best part of the EOS blockchain and they were quite surprised. So I tried to let them know how to open the accounts, how to transfer the, the EOS, EOS tokens on, on the blockchain. And uh, they were sur quite surprised. And uh, to, to carry on this job and to let people have more knowledge in, in, in the Hindi language especially. So I had tried to open uh, our accounts in the Facebook and uh, I am trying to open uh, the, the Instagram accounts and uh, I am inviting some Indian people who are who are not able to speak English language because there are a lot of Indians who can't speak English but they, they can communicate in Hindi language. So um, I'm doing it and uh, my grant was approved second time here. So thank you so much for uh, to grant me time to pitch my session here. Awesome. And really short one. Really appreciate it. Uh, and I'm excited to hear more from you next week. Um, India has a lot of talent, a lot of people. I think you're doing a great work and I wish you all the best for this season. Second time you're coming. Um, I love it that you're coming back to, you know, grow your community, grow your funding, grow your project. That's all. Yeah, my pleasure. About. Thank you. Thank you for your support also. For sure. So, um, and, and, up... uh, and I had a question for uh, uh, the, the, the Charles, maybe Charles Bishop, right? Yeah, Charles, are you still with us? Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, EOS Energy, I saw there, EOS Energy, I saw there are the, the community like Spanish and uh, Niger maybe Nigerian and uh, Chinese, right? 
So what about the Indian language? Is it okay? Is it okay for you? Oh, we are welcoming everyone from all around the world in different languages. So we definitely need the Hindi support. So if you know someone, if you yourself want to launch a show for the Hindi community, you're welcome to join your Synergy and do so. We have shows so far, yes, for the Chinese community, African community, Nigerian. Yeah. And uh, well, Spanish as well. And Russian is coming up. So we definitely need Hindi support as well. So your Synergy is open to all. You can reach out to us on our website, yoursupport.io. Okay. Uh, to add the email contact at yoursupport.io or just open a ticket on our website with our live agents there. And uh, we'll onboard you into your Synergy and see what we can do, sure. Okay, okay, thank you. Awesome, love it. That's a great way to end the show. Networking live here in Formella Pitch Sessions on the last minute of the show. Um, we are wrapping it up right now. I hope to, uh, to see everybody else next week here, same time, same spot. And I want to, once again, thank everybody that joined us uh, on all the platforms and also the Pomelo Season 6. Pomelo is nothing without our community of grant creators and donors. So we want to thank you all, everyone, for supporting Pomelo Platform in your own way, whatever it is. Thank you for helping to make the EOS tell us antelope ecosystem as strong as possible. So with that, seeing, with that being said, go Pomelo, everyone. Go. See you around. Good luck. Go, go Eos and go Eos, Pomelo. Go Pomelo. <laughs>